Hey everybody, Beastlick here, and I'm going to show you how you can customize your FL Studio background wallpaper, startup sound, and the about screen image and splash screen image as well. It will kind of be something like this. <gasps> and as you can also see in the background, I've got some a lovely repeating noob faces. All right, so to start off, you're gonna to need to download a couple of things. Firstly, you're gonna to need to get FUBAR 2000, which is an audio conversion program, and it's going to allow us to convert um, a wave or an MP3 file into the sound type that FL Studio uses as its startup file. The other thing that you're gonna to need to download is called WavePack, which is the encoder that you need to use to convert the file. So let's go ahead and open up FooBar, and I'm going to assume that you've already found a wave or an MP3 file that you want to use as the startup sound. We're going to go to File, and then we're going to Add Files, and you're going to navigate to wherever your file is you want to use. And I'm already navigated to where the file needs to be for Fruity Loops to open it up. So take note of this, as it is probably the exact same on your system. If not, you need to find FL Studio Artwork Skins default folder. Now you'll see uh, the render sound.wv and start sound.wv. Um, I've replaced both with the same exact sound. And what I've done is I've created a copy of them and made a backup. So I made a render send underscore back and a start sound underscore back just so that I don't lose the original copies. I've moved my sound that I want to convert in the same folder just so that it's easier for me to find. And now what we're gonna do is open up both by holding control and clicking both, open. And they've both opened up into the playlist here. Now, what we wanna do is highlight them both, right click, convert, and then go to the dot, dot, dot. This will open up our conversion options and for you, this isn't gonna say wave pack, most likely. You're gonna to have to click output format, and you're gonna to have to choose down at the bottom, wave pack, and then hit back, and just double check that it's chosen the format here. You can change the destination if you like, but I believe it defaults to the same folder. You can see a preview of the title format here, and then hit back. And that's basically it. And you're just going to hit convert. Now I'm not going to hit convert because I've already done so. But what it will ask you is it wants you to find the wave pack encoder that you downloaded. And so point it to the AXE file and then you may begin your convert. After you've done your convert, you should have a WV file now. And that's what FL Studio will play when you open up. All right, for the splash screen image, what you want to do is in that same folder where the sounds are, you've got bigfruit.png and title.png. Title.png is the splash screen. Bigfruit is what appears in the about window. And what you can do is open up the original, so title.png for instance, and just replace the image that's in here. And it'll work a lot better if you have a translucent PNG so that it does look like a cutout image floating on your screen. Now it doesn't have to fit in within this shape. It can be square and it can be smaller and it can be larger, but this gives you an idea of the ideal size. If we open up Big Fruit, Big Fruit is a tad smaller because it has to fit on the about screen. So just take note, if you're gonna use the same image, you have to make this one a little bit smaller. Otherwise it hides some of the elements on the interface. But besides that, once you make your replaced image, so for instance, let's bring in our noob face. Boom. And then just resave it as title.png and your other one is bigfruit.png and it will automatically open up with your new image. If you wanted to, you could go a step further and uh, give it a slight drop shadow just to make it a little, you know, more appealing. I think the original has a drop shadow, but not required. Now let's talk about wallpaper. Wallpapers are not in this folder and you're actually gonna have to go back to the artwork folder, go to wallpapers, and you can see there are a ton of other options here. So I wanted to take this fresh fruits 
I make a version for myself using the noob head. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this guy in here. Get him kind of sized up. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to kind of line it up like the other one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this one that's off the screen. So now we have two. With one of them highlighted, I'm going to do a selection box. And then I'm going to hit Add Layer Mask. On our masked layer, we're going to select the mask, make sure it's selected. Then we're going to go to Properties. Then we're going to click Invert. And after we invert it, with this layer selected and using the Move tool, we're going to hold Shift and drag it up until the top is lined up the best we can. We're going to, we're going to use the arrow keys up. There we go. And now this pattern will be duplicated for the wallpaper. Now it doesn't look good right now, so I'm gonna do a couple little things here. Use the uh, spot healing brush on these guys. There we go. There's our original guys. Let's select all these, put them in a folder. Okay. And then we can do some color overlay, maybe match them up there. Let me change their opacity a little bit. You don't want the wallpaper to be obnoxious, so really low opacity. So basically something like that. And then we're going to save it as a JPEG. And you can see I already have a couple there. We're going to call this Fresh Foods Tutorial dot JPEG. And then we're going to hit save. Yes. Now in Fruity Loops, we're going to go to View, Background, and Set Image Wallpaper. And I'm already here because I did this before, but you're going to have to probably navigate to the FL Studio Artwork Wallpapers folder or wherever you put your image. Fresh Fruits Tutorial, open. You can tell this is a lot bigger, so let's go back into Photoshop, and we're just gonna go to the image size and make it half the size. Hit OK. We'll call this one Fresh Fruits Tutorial Small. OK. Back in FL Studio, view, background, set image wallpaper, fresh fruits tutorial small, boom. And you can adjust it. You can make these less transparent just so that it's not as obnoxious. I'm gonna change it to mine real quick. Ah, perfect, wonderful. And that was it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any problems, let me know. Run through the video again, or if something's unclear, leave a comment below, and I will try to answer anything that I can. All right. Peace out.